Oh, now let's look at how to send out email campaigns on Active Campaign. So to create and send campaigns, we want to go to the left side menu and click on campaigns. And then to create our first campaign, let's click create your first campaign. Here we're going to give our campaign a name. So let's just say this is going to be a weekly newsletter. Let's say this is number eight. And then we have different campaign types. So we have the standard campaign, which is just like a one time email, like a newsletter. Then we have the automated campaign. This is the automation email workflow, which uh, Active Campaign is very good at. And I'm going to show you exactly how to build a workflow in the next part. Then we have the autoresponder, which is just an, a sequence of emails that will go out when somebody subscribes to your list. So you can build it out using an autoresponder. You can do split testing. So you can try different types of emails and then compare the performance to see which type of email campaign works the best. You can have RSS triggered emails and then you can have date based campaigns that just go out for when let's say your contacts um, have a birthday then it will send them like a birthday discount or something like that. But for now, let's stick with the standard campaign. So let's choose this and then click on next on the top right. And then here we have to choose who will be receiving this specific email that we're about to create. As we only have one list currently, we can only choose the master contact list. And if you have different tags for your contacts, you can also segment the recipients by the tags as well. Then let's click on next. And then here we want to choose what type of email editor we want to use to create our email. So with the email designer, you have a lot more freedom so you can add images, buttons, graphics, and look, make your email look very nice. And then you also have the text only editor, which is great for if you only want to write a text email with maybe a few links. Um, so I'm going to show you how to use the email designer because the text only one is really easy to use. So let's click on continue here. And then you can either start with a template from active campaign, which you can see here, or you can click on start from scratch. I'm going to just use a template. So I'm going to use the weekly newsletter template here, click on select. And then here we have to enter our sender details. So the name, I would change this to let's say Simon from Maddox Media. And then the from email is the email that people will see where this email comes from. So I want to change this to my branded email, which is Simon at medicsmedia.com. And I've already verified this email in the beginning of the video. If you haven't done this, then you can still do it here. And then the email subject is obviously very important with email marketing. So let's say these, let's say AI tools are changing my life just so people want to click on this email and click on continue. And this takes us into the email editor where we can start designing our email. So this is quite similar to creating pages on active campaign. You basically start with the template that you've chosen here. When you want to change something, just click on it. And then you can either just change the text by just highlighting it and then writing whatever you want. Here on the top, you also have some formatting options like underlining, adding links and so on. Then on the right side, you have more options. So you can change the background color, alignment, spacing and so on. If you want to change a picture, just click on, let's for example, say logo and then change your logo here. If you want to add something new, just go to content and then blocks and then drag in whatever you want to add. For example, we could add a timer here below the button, just drag and drop it into the email canvas. Then you can just click on the element and then choose, uh, for example, here when the timer should go to zero. So a lot of options here with this email designer. You also have structures. So if you want to have a two column design, you can just drag in this design here, and then you have two columns, you can add, um, then you can add blocks. So let's say on the left side, we have a text. On the right side, we have an image. And you can just build out your email the same way as you build out a simple page. You also have the global settings here on the on the top right, where you can just go through and just make sure everything is kind of branded to how you want it to look. You can also preview your email to see how it looks like by going on this preview icon on the top right. And then you're going to see a preview of your email on mobile and also on desktop. You can also click on this test email button here and then send this email to your own address to see exactly how it looks like on your email provider inbox. 
So let's say we're done creating our email. So then we can just go to the top right and click on next. And this will take us to the campaign summary where we just wanna quickly review before we send our campaign. So the subject looks fine. Then we have to pre-header text. We don't have anything in here yet, but we can actually add something by clicking on edit. And then we can add a preview of the content of the email. So let's say we add something like the first AI tool that changed my life is dot, dot, dot. So people will actually see that sentence before they open the email. So that kind of helps uh, entice people to actually click on the email, which is very useful. So let's click on save, then again, go to next. And now, as you can see, we have this sentence as the pre-header text. Then the from email looks fine. The list looks also fine. Address, this is the default address of the business that we've set up before that's mandatory. Then we have some options like we want to track if people open the email. And then if you have links, you can also add link tracking to see uh, who actually clicked on a link in the email, which is also very useful. So just go through these options here. You can again send a test email to your own account if you want to preview the email, whatever you need to do. And then we also have the spam check. And if it's passed, then it's good. If it doesn't, then you want to maybe go, go back change some words, like you don't wanna uh, add things like free or maybe add too many images, um, because if you do, then the email will just end up in the spam folder. But here it looks good, so we can now, either we can schedule the email by just typing in when we want to have this email to be sent. So let's say tomorrow at this time, we can just turn this on and then it would be sent at a specific time or we can send it now. So let's just click on send now to have this campaign sent to this email list. And now under campaigns, we can see our first email campaign, the weekly newsletter eight, which is currently preparing to send. Now, once it's sent and you've waited some time, you can actually check the performance of your email by just going to reports here on the left side, where we should now be able to see that email that we've just sent out. So as I've just sent it out and as I've sent it to random ad addresses, we don't get any opens or clicks, but here you can basically see how many opens you got, how many clicks you got, and basically track the performance of different campaigns that you're sending out. So now,